You're watching NCAA On Campus on CBS College Sports. For our next story, we head to the University of Central Oklahoma, home of the Broncos. And make sure you spell it right. That's Broncos with an H. Thanks, Kat. I'm Casey Tweed, a junior on the basketball team, and welcome to UCO, the oldest college in Oklahoma, chartered in 1890. Behind me is Old North Hall, built in 1892. Today, we have 16,000 students and are part of the NCAA Division II. Our school colors are bronze and blue, but we are one of the greenest campuses in America. 100% of our electricity is wind generated. Our cheerleaders are golden. In each of the past three years, they have won the National Cheer Association's championship. And another champion on campus is Dr. Wee Chen. He was one of four professors in the nation to be selected Professor of the Year by the Carnegie Foundation. NCAA On Campus is here today to talk about one of our football coaches. Calvin Miller played college football for the Oklahoma State Cowboys and then played pro ball, including two years in the NFL. This is Coach Miller's 31st year as a college coach. Six days a week, he has a profound influence on a group of young men, but on the seventh day, he still does not rest. I'm coaching seven days a week. Uh, I'm pastoring seven days a week. <laughs> uh, usually, the, the small church setting that, that I'm in, uh, we coach during the day, and I rush back, and then uh, we have uh, a lot of business meetings, a lot of uh, uh, department meetings on, uh, at night. I, I love it uh, because there's a ministry in both. Uh, there's a ministry in, in working with the student athletes. There's a ministry in, in encouraging them, seeing when they come in what they can be. Many come from single parent homes. Many uh, need uh, a male role model guidance. Uh, many need someone to, to, to encourage them. Rapid fire now, rapid fire. Work, work your hand movement. Make you move. The coach loves his work, but the two full-time jobs are taking their toll. He planned to retire from coaching after last season, but then he heard a voice. It was defensive lineman Jamel Kudjo. Last year was supposed to be, you know, and I said, this, this is it. And then I heard a voice from him. He said, Coach, could you come back one more year? Could, 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 could you be with me my, my senior year? It, it touched my heart, put tears in my eyes. Coach Miller has changed my life a lot since I've been here, not growing up with a father figure. And ever since I've been uh, coming to UCO, Coach Miller has put me under his wing and just treated me like I'm one of his own. Coach Miller, he's a teacher, he's a motivator, he's, he's all the above. You know, he's the guy that, that gets you going when you're down, he's the guy to come and pick you up and help you refocus. Most young people, they don't care of you critiquing them, and, uh, and, but yet you still under, be understanding how you criticize them. You also have to motivate, you also have to speak positive. I mean, I tell them up front before I start coaching, even before I start the season, I said, you know, there are some words I will say, but there are some words I will not say. That's not part of my vocabulary. I will not abuse you, I will not curse you. You know, you know I, I will embrace you and I will encourage you. Football has long been a part of Coach Miller's life, but for Pastor Miller, the church has been there even longer. And when his playing days ended, Calvin Miller went back to school and earned his degree in theology. All my life and all my career, you know, that I have really uh, been uh, a servant for the Lord and uh, shared my testimony as a, as a college athlete. There's times you get knocked down, but you got to get up. Amen, there's times you get tossed to and fro. You know what I'm saying? But you got to keep on moving. Grandmother was a very strong inspiration in my life. And we went to church, uh, saying like seven days a week. <laughs> well, my pastor philosophy is to encourage, to love, to build up, to encourage people to come and know Christ as a personal savior. I believe when you coach in a football team, uh, you ask for their commitment and their dedication. And the same with pastor in the church. You would ask the same thing from your members. He's a leader. I want to tell you that, that you sometimes you get to you get to take it off and stomp it down. Amen. Amen. Oh yeah, he has that excitement. Whether he's on the field or off the field, he gets that football excitement. He also gets that spiritual excitement, and he works both of them. It's a, it's a hustle. It's a hustle on the football field. It's a hustle for the Lord, and and that's part of what I do. You know, when I walk away from the game, I still will be coaching. I, I, I may not be coaching on the college level. I may not, you know, but I'll be somewhere tutoring some young man, encouraging some young man to do their best and be their best that they can be. Thanks, Coach Miller, and thanks to NCAA On Campus for visiting the University of Central Oklahoma.